All right, everybody. I'm very sorry about that. I don't know if I had a stroke or not, but you got to see it live on camera. <laughs> if I did have a stroke, oh well. Damage is done now. I'm going to keep on going because I'm dedicated to my music. I'm dedicated to this. We'll go to the hospital later, man. Right now, I'm going to finish this for you guys. <laughs> so let's get into a Beach Boys classic. This is Do You Want to Dance? But I'm going to do a ballad version that was composed by Bette Midler. So let's get it going. Barry Manilow's former boss. <laughs> Oh no, I'm a fan of Lowe, so. <laughs> again I, I'm not really into that one too much I've done it once before but it, it just I did a better job then apparently I thought so that's just not my style of, of song you know okay so let's get into some fifth dimension a group I love from the early 70s late 60s if I could reach you oh no don't go it's hours till dawn And there's no one Who'd rather be with you Oh, I know You know Other guys like me I let you take my love Knowing you don't love me But if I could reach you Some way If I knew the magic It would take to love you, girl 
good enough on the outside and make you feel it on the inside. Maybe I could make you stay if I could reach you. If I could reach you. Dark is getting light, and you're all dressed up to go. And you never said a word about tomorrow. But if I could reach you some way. If I knew the magic it would take to love you good enough on the outside, enough to make you feel it on the inside, maybe I could make you stay, see you next time. If I knew, I'll see you next time. <laughs> I added that last part in there. <laughs> I could hear that on my record version of it. So that was a group I love, The Fifth Dimension. I'm about to do another one of their big hits. This was written by a songwriter that I love. She wasn't well known as a singer. Her name was Laura Nero. And she composed some of the best music that you have heard, but you've heard her songs from other artists. Artists like Barbara Streisand. Uh, the Carpenters did some of her stuff. Um... The Fifth Dimension, the group I just did, although that wasn't one of her songs. That was one of their songs <laughs> that they wrote for themselves. But, um, yeah, uh, Carol King did some of her stuff. All kinds of people. You heard her music. You've just never heard her sing her music. Now, she did release four or five, maybe even six records on her own throughout the 70s and late 60s but they didn't have singles she didn't get any radio play if you bought those records you bought them from hearing about them or just looking at them on the shelf i guess flipping through them i own all of them thank god on vinyl paid a lot of money for them but that's okay <laughs> they're extremely hard to find today but that's because she was not really well known out in front. She was a songwriter. She tried to go Carol King's route by making records. As you know, Carol King was very successful because Carol King wrote a lot of music before she started making her own music. She wrote music all throughout the 60s for other artists, even the late 50s. But she wanted to do her own thing and she was very successful at it. Laura Nero was not. Laura Nero made her first album in 1967, I believe, and it flopped. It got no singles, no nothing. And every record after that, same thing. She just couldn't make it. Now, later on, she began being well known when the actual artists like Barbara Streisand, Carole King, Karen Carpenter actually started naming her as the songwriter of their great hits, but all throughout the 70s, nobody knew, nobody knew who Laura Nero was. And I was really sad, man. She wrote some of the best music ever. I could sit and listen to her records all night while drinking, and I could feel them. I don't know how to explain it to you, but 
I'm big on music. Anyway, we're going to get into one of her first songs she wrote. She wrote this for the Fifth Dimension. It's called Wedding Bell Blues. I've changed some of the words, obviously, because it's sung through a female mindset. So the original lyric is, I love you, Bill. I changed it to, I love you, Jill. Get it? Because <laughs> I'm a man. Gotta have me a Jill. <laughs> okay, well, I don't know what happened here. So I'm gonna turn this up. Can you hear it? Yeah, I don't think I'll be doing that one again. <laughs> I tried my best for you, but it's one of my fifth dimension favorites. Yeah, I'm a huge fifth dimension fan. It's funny because Laura Nero wrote a bunch of music for them and I love both of them. I own all of their albums on vinyl and I own all of hers. <laughs> But that that dedication of love fanfare is for another video. <laughs> this is karaoke, damn it. So let's get to it. Gonna get into some Lou Rawls here. You'll never find another love like mine, girl. I wish I was around in the days of disco, you know? Disco's not so bad. Leah gets a lot of flack for nothing. You'll never find As long as you live Someone who loves you Tender like I Someone who cares about you the way I do. Oh, I'm not praying on myself, baby. But I'm the 
Take the end of all time Someone to understand you Like I do You'll never find The rhythm, the rhyme All the magic we've shared Just us two Someone who needs you Like I do You'll never see me What you found in me You'll keep searching and searching Your whole life through Whoa, I don't wish you no bad luck, baby there's no ifs and buts or maybes. You are. You're gonna miss my loving. I know you're gonna miss my love. You're gonna miss. You're gonna miss my love. with disco i mean some of it was kind of kind of corny but i mean the general thought of it isn't that bad dance music i mean that's all techno is now and all that people dancing it's just a modern form of disco right <laughs> so anyway you all know i'm a fan of low doesn't need to be explained you saw all the posts on my Facebook on his birthday, wishing him happy his happy 80th birthday. <laughs> so now I'm going to do one of his big hits, Weekend in New England. It was one of his biggest hits. So I'm going to do it now for you. I got to get my throat quenched. Miller Lite. Last night I waved goodbye Now it seems years I'm back in the city Where nothing is clear But thoughts of me Holding you Bringing us near So tell me When will I touch you when will the strong yearning end and when will I hold you 
AC blowing and I'm still sweating to death up in here. <laughs> I like to go hardcore for my fans. You hungry? All right. I know a place. It's the city. So let's move on here. Got to get to these stupid YouTube commercials. Whew. Here's a song from the 80s. A group called Wham. One of the people in the group was a well-known man named George Michael. I'm not a huge George Michael fan. I'm not a huge Wham fan. I actually heard this song on a Barry Manilow record, and I loved it. So here we go. I feel so unsure As I take your hand and take you to that dance floor as the music dies something in your eyes calls to mind the silver screen and all those sad goodbyes i'm never gonna dance again guilty feet i've got no rhythm let's start this over again i'm in the wrong key <laughs> All right, so now I can explain this. I'm not a Wham fan. I'm not a George Michael fan. I heard this on Barry Manilow's Greatest Songs of the 80s album from 2008. I buy, or I did buy, now that everything's digital, I don't really buy anymore. I pay a monthly subscription to Apple Music. But in 2008, they were still selling CDs. Remember those CDs? And I, I would buy all of his new albums the day of release. Uh, sometimes I even pre-ordered them. So I was guaranteed it on release day. But anyway, I heard Barry Manilow's version. As you all know, I'm a fan of him, And I loved the song. So I started getting into the Wham! version featuring George Michael. So... I'm going to try to do this. I've never sang this before. So let's get into it. This is called Careless Whisper. If my Apple TV will work. moaning and groaning <laughs> I feel so unsure as I take your hand and lead you to the dance floor as the music dies 
something in your eyes calls to mind the silver screen and all it said goodbye. I'm never gonna dance again. Okay, I, I don't get this. Why am I not able to sing it the right way? It's okay. We're gonna change keys here, okay? I need to stay on the key that I'm doing in the verse. So let's rock this. Oh. I feel so unsure as I take your hand and lead you to the dance floor as the music dies something in your eyes calls to mind the silver screen and all it said goodbye I'm never gonna dance again guilty feet I've got no rhythm though it's easy to pretend I know you're not a fool I should have known better than to cheat a friend And waste the chance that I've been given So I'm never gonna dance with you The way I dance with you Oh Okay, we're gonna skip this one Because I'm not doing this right I hate when I do this Because I know y'all are watching this like Okay, would you just do something please? <laughs> we're gonna do another Barry Manilow song this was Barry Manilow's first hit in 1974 when he was first heard on the radio. This is called Man. The season, so your summer is full of fun and safe. Get these commercials out of the way. <laughs> this is where the world was introduced to the one and only Barry Manilow. I wasn't even born yet. I wouldn't be born for another seven years. I remember all my life Raining down as cold as ice Shadows of a man A face through a window Crying in the night The night goes into morning Just another day Happy people pass my way Looking in their eyes I see a memory I never realized How happy you made me Oh man me. Well you came and you gave Without taking But I sent you away Oh man me. Well you kissed me And stopped me from shaking And I need
All right. I'm not too disappointed in myself here. Away what you don't want. I mean, yes, the end of that, I kind of messed up. My voice cracked and went, uh, but I'm, it's like I'm getting there, you know? I've had some very good songs here that I've never even done before. All right, let's keep this going. This is, I don't even know how to introduce this. <laughs> I don't know if any of y'all know who Sammy Davis Jr. was. He was an entertainer all throughout the 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s. In the 80s, he was kind of quiet, you know, and unfortunately he died in 1990 from uh, throat cancer. He smoked too much throughout his life. And it, it's funny because every time you go back and watch every video, every concert, Every time you saw him live, he always had a cigarette. My cats are knocking all my stuff over, so I don't know what to do here. They're interrupting my broadcast. All I can do is keep going. This is The Candyman by Sammy Davis Jr., everybody. <laughs> Okay, that didn't work. There's no sound. Because the cat ruined my receiver. They knocked all my DVDs over. I've got to go, y'all. I have a major emergency. I'll see y'all later. Peace out.